National Stun Gun Manufacturing Phaser held its training session at the West Tennessee Regional Training Center here in Denmark, educating attendees on how to use this non-lethal weapon. The training session was an opportunity to demonstrate the difference between the phaser and other taser weapons used in law enforcement and other agencies. The instructor of the class explains what makes phaser weapons different from other options. It, what makes it unique is we have a patented safety circuit built into this weapon um, and primarily it prevents overexposure to the human body. Abu goes on to say why more law enforcement agencies should consider non-lethal weapon options like phaser. I think for, for, for the community and for the taxpayer and for the departmental budgets, I mean, uh, the liability issues that exist, uh, you take a life and it's, it's a wrongful death lawsuit. $183 million has been uh, spent on wrongful death lawsuits in relation to taser deaths. Uh, it's a lot of taxpayer dollars being spent. One of the attendees traveled all the way from Boston and has been a firearms pepper spray defense tactics instructor with his company called Safety Academics USA. I was very excited to come to this class. I, you know, um, I love being teaching the product. I flew down last night and here I am today looking forward to getting my certs back up to speed and then uh, going back next week and start telling the guys we're back in business with the phaser when you want to schedule some classes. The instructor did a live demo firing the phaser on one investigator from the Humboldt Police Department. But this is the second worst pain, but it's five seconds. And then once the five seconds is over, the pain is over. And and usually in the, if, in a, on the street, if the, most of the time the suspect will comply because they don't want to do it again after that five seconds. Phaser says more than 300 police departments nationwide use their defense products and have been operating for nearly a decade with zero fatalities. I'm Kristen Hyde, 39 News, Denmark.